Historically, diadema were really, really abundant. There were a bunch of them um, on reefs throughout the Caribbean, including in Florida. And in the early 80s, a disease of unknown origin passed through and uh, wiped out 95 to 99% of the urchins that were historically on the reefs. You can think of diademas as almost um, lawn mowers of the reef, so they cut down on the fleshy algae uh, that would overgrow corals uh, without the biocontrol of the diadema. So as the Florida Aquarium uh, works in coral reef restoration, there's also a desire to uh, restore the herbivory that also plays a huge part in our coral reefs. Among the various options we have, one of the feasible option is to culture diadema larvae in the laboratory and restock the animals in nature so that they can again get back to their natural population dynamics. In the day of the life of a diadema aquarist, uh, there's a lot of cleaning and a lot of feeding. Um, as you can imagine with a lot of baby urchins, it's a lot of attention to detail and making sure that they have everything on point and any small swing could really cause a problem in our culturing process. Diadema in particular is quite different from many other invertebrate species in the context that diadema has a very lengthy larval cycle. So to date we've produced over 750 baby diadema which is the most success that anyone has ever had with this species. We're really hopeful that down the road, um, when we're producing urchins, they're behaving naturally, we'll be able to take them back out to the reef and start to see some declines in the macroalgae that is really problematic on reefs right now.